peace infinite waters diving deep once again we're out here we're nature breathing in that good ass prana baby how to be open-minded without feeling alone isolated what am i gonna do we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello Someone wrote in saying that they are open-minded and they find themselves around lots of closed-minded people. Put your hand up if you are one of these kinds of people. They don't know what to do. Should they just walk away from them or actually try and inspire them? Should they try and inspire them or walk away? Inspire, walk away. Okay. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. You see... Human beings are real funny. We never love to be told what to do. We want to have that feeling of accomplishment that we did it ourselves. So what happens when you were like me a long time ago, who was a vegan over 11 years ago, trying to inspire other people who came around to the house to eat healthier when they would talk to me? They were like, no, I'm not doing it. What about when I had this massive awakening? Things aren't always what they seem. That's what I said to myself. Then I saw someone walking down the street and said, things aren't always what they seem. Hey, things aren't always what they seem. And they were like, ain't nobody got time for that. They kept walking. Still wasn't happening for me. I felt alone. I was so open-minded but nobody around could really understand me until I started to dive deep. You see, resistance makes stronger and the truth can't be told, it has to be realized. Mm. Slow motion, that's like, mm. the truth can't be told, it has to be realized. Ever since, life has been so fantastic because I get it. I got people in my family still eating meat. Sometimes living a whole lifestyle totally different from me. But that's okay. Because think about it like this. If the whole world was the same, it would be pretty boring. Right now on the planet, lots of people are becoming more aware. As they're becoming their greatest versions, they're starting to pierce the veil of the illusion, this stage we've all created. A lot of people get it. We're in a kind of game, a kind of joke, and hey, we can make this world whatever we want. And some people are like, no, you can't. Get back to work. And you're like, shut up. Hey, it's okay. Let people talk. Let people live whatever life they want to live. It's all on you. You got to start taking responsibility for who you're interacting with. That way, you won't even call other people closed minded people because you will only be around really open minded people like yourself. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Your vibe attracts your tribe. I dive deep. So a lot of the people I was stopping in the streets, things aren't always what they seem to be. We're just walking past. Then I said, okay, I get it now. I've got to start diving deep, be with the dolphins and stuff. And then without trying, I connected with millions of people. Why? Because the secret is that all you have to do is show the results. People are going to be inspired. They're going to say, oh my days, I can't believe it. Why can't they believe it? Because you aren't trying to convince them to believe it. You believe it and that's enough. Why? Because this stuff works. I know every single day when I'm in nature, I'm creating abundance. 
Life is good. No work, just a lifestyle. 24-7 vacation. I'm not trying to force people to say, hey, come into nature. No, we good. We got the birds, got some dogs over there. Some good ass prana. So what happens when you are awakening? You want to share it with the whole world. And you can, through social media, start making videos, create a website, write articles. But realize that the right people will find you. But when you see people in the streets, it is not your job to convince them of anything. Because you see, through contrast, we discover ourselves. So you've got to be thankful for other people's perceptions of the reality we find ourselves in. We create a hierarchy in our mind that we are open-minded and someone is closed-minded. Where you are open-minded, yes, yeah, someone might be closed-minded. But you see, where you are closed-minded, that same closed-minded person could be very open-minded. Mm, slow motion that side. Mm. And that's why I say, I don't know anything. Because enlightenment is knowing how much you don't know. But I know a little bit about a little bit. And I'm sharing every single day, learning more from other deep divers. But there is no hierarchy. People meet me in the streets and say, can I get a hello there? We both do it at the same time. Men in black. A person is smart. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. When I first heard that, I was like, gosh, that's kind of true. But I don't call anybody dumb. I just say that everybody wakes up at a different time. But you see, in our organic state, our authentic state, when we're, when we're away from other human beings, which is probably only when we're like two years old, playing with the toys or in the garden. Okay, what happens? You're just in your own vibe. You're really intelligent. Why? Because you're connected to your true authenticity. What happens when you start going to school and stuff? You enter the hive mind, social conditioning. And that's really what turns so many of us into robots, automatons, drones, mindless zombies. <sighs> Don't worry about it because the story ain't over. You see, I was a zombie. Up until about 21, <laughs> when I started to awaken, what happened? I started to go back to my true authenticity, become really open-minded, but also realize that I have to start finding other people by starting to share my authentic truth. Because once you sing, the choir will join you. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. Once you sing, the choir will join you. A lot of us, have you ever tried to ask someone to go out when they don't want to go out? The harder you try, the more they don't want to go out. When you say, I'm going out, bye, they're like, I, I want to go. Because resistance makes stronger. So let it go. Let people live their life. The question you've got to ask yourself is, what am I doing? Am I happy? What am I doing to meet other like-minded people? And then just find the others, like Terence McKenna said, and have a party, get naked or something, and, and just dance around a campfire, and you'll be just fine. Woo! Breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. Got the wind blowing like that, like that. Have a beautiful day. And don't forget to smile. It's not a crime yet. You got to stay humorous out here. Infinite waters. Die.
diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.